Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So today, I'm going to be doing an everyday glam makeup tutorial with no falsies. So what we're gonna do is we are going to build up that mascara. And I have lights coming from every which direction because I got a new ring light and it actually has my camera holder, well, camera holder on it. I use my phone. <laughs> okay, so the first things I'm gonna go in with, of course, is my Wet and Wild Coconut Primer Water. And we're just going to spray the face with this. It's so great because now if I move my table, I don't move you guys. I say table and it's an ironing board. But if I move it, like, <laughs> you guys don't know. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to go ahead and take this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Primer. I really like this primer. I hate that, like, whenever you get the little sample, it's, like, mostly air inside of it. But still great nonetheless. Mm, can anybody tell where these pimples are from? I, like never get pimples right here and for whatever reason i'm breaking out right there what we're gonna go ahead and do is go in with our brows and i'm using the revlon color stay brow pencil and i'm just gonna go ahead and fill those in really fast Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go in with our handy dandy tape and just apply that to our eyelids. Somehow I always end up using my L'Oreal concealer when I'm doing the tape thing. And it's never planned, I just randomly grab stuff. Even though I feel like that wasn't a lot, I know it's gonna be a ton and take forever to blend out. I love my sister for this. She gave me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and that's going to be the palette that we are using today. And so obviously, so to set the eyelids, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that first shade called Tempura, Tempura. And we're just gonna go ahead and set the lids with that shade. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Burnt Orange, and we're just gonna apply that into the crease. Very, very, very blown out. I did not dust that off or nothing. I literally just dabbed once and Okay, next I'm gonna take a little bit of red ochre and just put that, and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner and into my lower part of my crease. And I'm taking my BH Cosmetics number seven brush. And for that first brush, you literally can use any big fluffy crease brush that you have that's used for blending. I'm very scared now, like I'm barely, like not scared, just cautious. cautious. Okay, so I'm really liking how that looks. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade at Tempera and I'm gonna put that on my lid just in case we lost any of that. I kind of wanna keep it all matte, so I'm just going to pack that on where there's no shadow already. And then we're just gonna highlight the brow bone. 
And then we can take the tapes off. I'm pretty sure wing liner would have been great with this, but I don't like using wing liner if I'm not using falsies because I feel like it takes away from the lashes. So since we're not using falsies, no liner. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the top lashes. And we're just going to go ahead and curl them. I always love how cut that is whenever you use the tape. Like that's my whole reason for using the tape. But as you can see, like it kind of built up just a little bit right there. Like you can tell, kind of harsh. And then we are going to be using this Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara just to coat the lashes. Um, I've been saving this so that I don't have to buy the full ones. Like I, I rarely use this one, and but when I do, I use it for good reason because this is a mascara that you could definitely use for an everyday glam. Like maybe you don't have time to put on the falsies or you don't, you're don't, you just not that good with falsies. This one definitely gives you everything you're looking for in a mascara to get that false lash effect without actually using falsies. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply that to the lashes. Okay, so to me, I just consider that one coat and look at the difference within my eyes. Like, look how much this one is just like, I mean, they're there. You can actually acknowledge that I have lashes as opposed to this eye. And I like the brush because it really grabs and hugs onto your lashes. And so it's making sure that it's pretty much coating every single lash that you have with the mascara. like I said to me, that is one coat. So what I'm gonna do now to me, one coat is whenever you like coat your lashes, work on the other one, let them dry, go back in, then that's two coats. I mean, I don't, comment down below, let me know what you consider one coat of mascara. Is it literally like one, one coat, or is it like one session, one coat like me? Obviously, for foundation, we're gonna go ahead and take the L'Oreal Fresh Wear, Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation, and I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild sponge today. Oh yeah, BTW, I'm tan. It takes a lot for me to tan, like this was literally all of one afternoon swimming. And it took quite a bit. I was like, I'm not tanning, I'm not tanning, and like I barely, I barely got any color, like you guys can tell. Obviously my arms are dark because those are always showing regardless. So when my sister Sam was here, she was like, I wanted to buy the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but I was gonna try yours first and see if I liked it. She ended up liking it and I think, I believe she bought it. It's an awesome bronzer, which is also what I will be using today. And then, like I said, we're also going to be going in with the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And I have my foundations in the shade 460, I believe. Yeah, my foundations in the shade 460. And I'll put the name of what 460 is. And then I have the shade 355 Vanilla for my foundation for my concealer. Can you believe that I was gonna buy this shade of foundation online? And then I went in stores and I was like, uh, yeah, no. And I'm glad I just waited to go in stores because ugh, look how bright that is. Can you imagine how ghostly I would have looked had I bought that concealer? I mean, that foundation, that shade of foundation. underestimate this sponge like I rarely use this sponge to blend out my makeup and every time I use it I'm like why don't I use you more okay and now I'm going to be taking my banana setting powder from Bella Pierre my banana setting powder from Bella Pierre and we're just gonna set really um, not heavily but I am gonna use the sponge to set where I put the concealer This powder makes your skin look so smooth, so flawless, if you don't use too much. So I literally, I use the same amount for under the eyes and down the center of the face. And then for the rest of my face, I literally take a big powder brush. I'm going to take literally that small amount that's in the cap and we're going to dust this on the rest of our face. And that's literally how I set my face now. 
I just learned for my skin type, like that's what's best. All right, right now that it's summer, like I'm not super dry, but I learned even though I'm not super dry, like I still can't do like the heavy baking and things like that, like the heavy setting powder, like I still can't do those things, but my skin does look a lot better. And those are basically non-existent. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm gonna go back in with that burnt orange shade and we're going to just dust that all across the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more precise and we're going back in with red ochre and we're gonna go ahead and put that towards the outer corner of our lower lash line. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and go back in with our Monsieur Big Mascara and coat those bottom lashes. And be very careful not to get it on all the hard work that we just did. Okay, and see, so you only need one cloak, one, one cloak. You only need one coat for your bottom lashes and ba-bam. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this is what we're gonna use to uh, bronze the face up today. I'm just gonna take like a crease brush and get my nose. Okay, and then for my blush palette, I'm going in with an oldie but a goodie, and I'm going to be taking my Sephora blush palette, and I'm taking this shade right here. And then for highlight, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter, and this one is in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same highlighter and put that on my inner corners. Does anyone else like, do y'all ever do y'all's makeup and then like you take a step back, look at the final product, and you're like, dang, like I did that, I can do that? Like, <laughs> happens to me all of the time. Okay, Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Nude, and we're just gonna line our lips. When I change my mind, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just fill them in with this lip liner. That is the true test of how good a lip liner is. Can you fill your lips in with it? How creamy is it really? I think lip liners were the original matte lip. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals Gloss in Brilliant, oh, in Cosmic. So many words on the bottom of that lip gloss, but the shade is Cosmic. Okay, you guys, and of course, the last step is this setting spray, which we're going in with the same setting spray that we primed with, and we're just gonna go ahead and, of course, set the face with it. Okay, you guys, this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look, and I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, and of course, you guys know I want you to stay for good, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.